so i guess you can able to see my screen so today let's learn a concept called as tableau access okay so okay okay check this uh, if you want to ask me something you can just text me also batch confirmation in the sense i didn't got your question of course it will continue till tomorrow our demo classes will uh, will be finished from monday the link will be changed for those who for the, the students who got registered for them the batch will be continued from monday okay so yes i'm um, okay so today we are going to learn about tableau access concept called as tableau access so uh, basically tableau access is uh, nothing but we uh, as you know in tableau we have dimensions and measures right as we saw previously i'm just simply connecting to any file so we know we have dimensions and measures this is dimensions and this is measures correct so tableau access is something which will be worked on measures only okay of course to create a graph we will use dimensions here as well but mostly tableau access is nothing but working with measures and we have three types of tableau access first one is individual access and the second one is a blended access and the third one is dual access okay individual access blended access and dual access so what is this three different types of access how to create that let's see now with the help of tableau okay so i will connect to data i will connect to a sql server today microsoft sql server we saw yesterday how we will connect to the sql server so once we clicked on sql server we can able to see this uh, you know dialog box for the first time we need to copy the server name from the uh, microsoft sql server uh, application which i already shown yesterday if anyone is new to this batch please watch the demo videos so sorry we need to click on sign in here okay then we get we will get connected to the microsoft sql server correct yesterday we created one database in a sql server let me open that we need to click on connect here from monday uh, our regular batch will start till tomorrow by tomorrow our demo sessions will be ended and from monday uh, those who made the payments we will uh, start a batch for them from monday the link the zoom link will be changed from monday and uh, after that i will show you the installation pro uh, process of tableau desktop and sql server okay so yesterday we saw how we will uh, deal with sql server this is the databases list of databases available in the sql server and here we created if i'm not wrong we created durga soft to yesterday i guess
okay and we have one more database called as adventures database let's connect to adventure database from tableau okay and let's see So we need to select the database by clicking the drop down here. We are having many databases. I'm having something called as Adventure Works 2017 database. I'm just selecting that database. It is just processing. Let's wait. It won't take this much of time generally. Today I have a little bit of internet issue. That's the reason I guess. Okay, I got it. I this is the Adventures Works database. I have some tables here. Okay. Like customer details, organization details, my sales details are like that. Today for now, let's work on uh, we have something called as fact internet sales. Let's work with this table today. You can click on update automatically. And I have uh, the column names like this. See, uh, guys, if anyone is new to the uh, class today, this is the user interface of Tableau. Once we got connected to the database, we can choose the database from the list of the database here. We need to drag the, drag the database. I mean, these are all the tables. We need to drag the table to here. Then we can able to see the data here. Okay. So basically, in fact, internet sales, I have this much of data. I have the column names like this, product key, order date key. Uh, basically, all the columns uh, based on the ship dates, customers, sales, orders, like that. Okay. So, let's see. Let's create the graph uh, and let's see. Towards the top right, you can see something called as connection. And we have two types of Tableau connections. One is live connection and one is extract connection. In tomorrow's class, let's see about this Tableau connections detailing. Now, to create any graphs, we need to click go to sheet level. As we know, uh, let me click on sheet one. Okay, this is the place where we will create graphs. So, you can see the list of columns will be displayed here below tables. And you can see here, this is uh, the dimensions and this is the measures. As we know, all the numerical columns comes in the measures and remaining uh, all data types data comes under dimensions, as we already know, right? Now, as we are. Hello. Yes. Uh, how did you connect uh, to that adventure database? Uh, it's simple. We need to. From here, first, we need to click on uh, see Microsoft SQL Server, right? Yeah. Adventure database is the database uh, in the SQL Server. Basically, I'm connecting to SQL Server. I clicked on SQL Server. I clicked on Sign In. So I uh, immediately I will get into my data source page. This is my data source tab. Here I need to select the databases. Okay. If I click the drop down here, there will be the list of databases available here. I can choose any database as I uh, required from here. Yesterday we created Durga Soft 2 database, but today I want to work on Adventures Works DW to 2017 database. 
and how to restore this uh, database in the SQL Server, I will show you once uh, we will get into our actual classes. Fine. Because as I already have this database in my SQL Server, I can able to see that database in the Tableau. But we need to reconnect or we need to restore that uh, database in our SQL Server. Sorry, I'm not sharing this. So we need to... So this is Adventure Works DW 2017 database, which I already have in SQL Server. Once we get into our actual classes, I will show you how we will restore this database into the server uh, and all the databases which we are, uh, which are available in the server, all those databases list we can able to see in the uh, databases here in the Tableau, correct? So like that, I got this database. I'll just select the database from here and I can able to see the table names. Right. So, yeah, this is about fact internet sales uh, data. Now, let's see how to create all those access. Uh, okay, first I said we have individual access. Correct. So, if I want to rename the sheet here, here you can see by default uh, the name will be sheet one. If I want to rename this sheet, I can just double click on the sheet one and I will write this as individual access. Okay. You can see here also the name will be changed. Correct. No, ma'am, I didn't understand. You, you didn't understand? okay okay see here basically this is the data source page this is the data source tab okay this is the sheet level we from here only we will create all the graphs right so as i'm going to create uh you know this individual access today i want to rename this sheet with the name of individual access okay Basically, here you can see the three icons here, right? The first icon is the sheet. If we want to open a new worksheet, we will click this icon. Accordingly, it is opening like, you see, this is C sheet like two, this is sheet three. We do it in the Excel, right? Double click here in the name. Exactly, right? exactly. In the Excel file also, with one click, we can open the new sheets, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that, we can open the sheets to create the graphs, okay? And if we want to rename the sheet name here, there is sheet four, right? We need to double click here and we can edit it from here. We can write anything here. We can write anything here. And the sheet name will be changed. Here also you can able to see to see yeah. the sheet name. Okay. Yeah. And this is uh, mm -hmm. yes, the difference between dimension and measures like all the numerical data uh, types are into uh, uh, measures. measures. Yes, all the numerical data type columns comes into measures and the remaining data types as we have character data, date data type data and geographical data, all those data types comes under dimensions. Okay. But, and like, ma'am, product promotion key, all these are numerical data types, right? So these are also coming under uh, yeah that's what that's what i'm going to say this is the way to understand or remember easily the difference between dimensions and measures but the actual concept here is we need to understand all the aggregated columns that means on which columns we can make any kind of calculations or aggregations or i can see or i can say the uh, all type of continuous uh, you know continuous columns where the data will be changed, where the aggregations will be made, all those columns comes under measures. If we talk about promotion key and product key, we cannot change anything on that uh, columns, right? It is not changeable data. We cannot perform any calculations for that data. Correct? Okay, okay. So all such columns comes under dimensions. First, in the initial stages to make you understand, I will... Uh, if you remember, if you see in my previous sessions also, I given this uh, definition also, aggregations and all. So this is uh, how we need, the, the main concept is that one. You know, if we can able to perform any calculations or aggregations, or if the data is of continuous data, uh, that uh, is considered, that is divided into measures. And if the data is, you know, we can, if we cannot perform any calculations, uh, if it is numerical also, as we cannot 
perform any calculations we will uh, consider it into dimensions only and there is another way here we have options convert into con to continuous convert it to measures like that we have some options going forward we will see this no worries see if i want to convert anything into dimension i can uh, directly click here and any of my column will become a dimension okay so and this first tab is of sheet level and the second tab is dashboard level and the third is story we have something called as sheets dashboards and stories in tableau to create a dashboard we need to click this we can able to create dashboards from here we will see uh, detail about this later dashboard is nothing but collection of uh, tableau sheets right if we want to see all the sheets together in one view we need to create the dashboard correct and in the last uh, icon here is new story there is something called as story again uh, this is again dashboards and stories are very important we will see this uh, practically in our further classes but to open that we need to click from here math required for data analysis with tableau a uh, very simple basic maths uh, we don't perform any uh, big calculations we no need of uh, having statistics or uh, you know that i don't say hardcore math is involved in tableau a very basic simple we will perform because you know everywhere as i shown you yesterday about the calculated field everything is already inbuilt we have inbuilt functions we don't uh, really create a, any formulas here all the functions are mostly 90% of the functions will will be available inbuilt only we need to understand what function we need to use and we need to just uh, extract that function okay and let me just delete this everything okay uh, let's see about the individual access individual individual ac individual access is nothing but if we are creating a separate access for each measure okay if we can able to create a separate access for each measure then it is called as individual access let's see that practically here what i need to do i will uh, i have a date column due date column i will drag this due date into rows part okay this is my year wise data year of due date correct as i said yesterday date is in hierarchical column we can uh, even expand it into the quarter part right here i am having year wise data quarter wise data now what i will do i will select any measure and i will drag this measure into the columns this is my sales amount and i have something called as tax amount here i will just drag this tax amount here okay and let me select the line graph and uh, i just swapped by rows and columns here what's happening we are creating a separate axis for each measure sales amount is one measure tax amount is one measure okay i am getting a separate line here basically the concept here is whenever we are you know taking dimensions and measure we should not mix them if we are keeping dimensions uh, in uh, columns columns we need to keep all the uh, measures in rows if we are keeping all the measures in rows we need to keep all the dimensions in columns it's not like rows and columns but we need to keep the columns separately we need to keep all the measures in one axis and all the dimensions in another axis we cannot mix them if we create uh, if we do like that if we uh, you know keep all the measures in one axis and all the dimensions in one axis we can able to create individual axis is one separate line we can able to see for each and every uh, you know measure here basically we are creating a individual measure 
individual line i can say or individual axis for each measure that is the reason we will call it as individual axis okay here we are not mixing dimensions and measures that's it you can see here tax amount and sales amount are my measures right i am keeping them in columns and i am keeping uh, you know dimensions in rows if i want i can just convert it into month wise data also but i am not mixing if i keep tax you know i if i keep one measure here and another measure here i cannot get my individual axis we need to keep all the measures separately all the dimensions separately with respect to of the whether we are keeping in rows columns it's according to the graph Uh, we will decide but the thing is we will keep them separately am i clear let's see blended axis then you will understand blended axis in the sense here we will mix dimensions and measures all together see the same example i will take i will uh, select due date i will uh, maybe Uh, extracted into the quarter wise data this is year wise data this is quarter wise data and now i will take sales amount okay i will take tax amount if i create like this i can call it as individual axis because all my dimensions is in columns all my uh, so all my measures is in rows okay whether it is rows or columns but basically all my dimensions are there in one axis and all my measures are there in one axis if i want to create blended axis what i will do i will mix i will uh, keep one measure here i will keep one dimension here like that i will combine dimensions and measures together i can able to see the blended axis what is the use of this uh, generally to be frank in real time we don't use this individual axis and blended axis third one we have something called as dual axis we will use that only in real time but as we have the concept we need to learn because basically what happens in real time according to our requirement we will create the graph we don't bother about this individual or blended axis but i don't know why the concept is there we need to learn but dual axis is most important we need to learn uh, and we will use it in the daily basis also is uh, do you have any doubts to show on just understanding when you are shuffling between the charts there is speed so okay <laughs> all right i'll i'll try to explain slowly uh, to interchange rows into columns or columns into rows we need to use control w control w from our keyboard as i said this basic things in my demos uh, maybe i'm a uh, little bit quickly i'm doing all that things but yeah if we want to swap rows into columns and columns into rows we have two options first we can either do like this we have one interchange option here or else by using our keyboard uh, function by using control w in our keyboard also we can interchange okay i'm same we can do it by using that logo right i mean uh, using what that symbol no i mean uh, yeah this one given as a symbol left on that menu bar below to server below to server where is somewhere with... right, right side top just go into just below to window i mean increment decrement symbol is there right increment decrement symbol or what you are talking about like towards the top right or in between no no top right i mean there's a window right window is help server on the menu bar file data worksheet one second one second yeah here here you are talking about the menu bar okay yeah the, yeah below to enter there is a symbol right so by using yeah the... interchanging this one that's what i'm saying this by using this one we can interchange okay 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 we can interchange the rows and columns by either by this or by control w okay and let's see what is dual axis this is only important dual axis is nothing but uh, whenever we want to create one axis on the top of another axis we will create 
dual axis okay let's see let's create one and then uh, i will explain you the concept behind it so for that what i will do i will select year which year ship date I will take due date only into the rows part, year data. And what I will do, I will select any two measures here. Like maybe sales amount and tax amount. So as you can see here, what I just did, I selected first due date and I selected two measures, sales amount and uh, tax amount. As you can see, we got some uh, individual access kind of uh, output only, right? If I uh, change the graph here, this is a discrete graph. This is this is a discrete graph basically. This is a continuous graph. We can choose any graph, but the concept is we are creating a separate line for separate access. Like for sales amount, I can able to see one line. For separately for tax amount, I can able to see one line separately. Correct? So here, what I need to do, uh, first let me, let me click on label option also. This is two individual lines. One line is for sales amount and one line we got for tax amount. We will call this as line chart. And let me click on T option here. Yes. It's called dual access. No, no, not this. Uh, I didn't create a dual access still. This is just a line chart for now. I just selected the columns and this is a line chart. From here I selected, right? If I clicked on this one, my graph is changing. This is also line chart, but this is of discrete. This is continuous line chart. What is the difference between that? We will learn going forward. For now, I just create a, created a line chart for this uh, data. Now, what I will do, I will display. Here, we will we can able to see in menu bar, we have T option, mark labels option. I need to click on T option. If I want to display my sales, year by sales, like 20, 2000 level, this is my sales. And 2000 level, this is my tax amount. To 2012, this is my sales amount and this is my tax amount. So if I want to display the sales, I need to click on T option here, which is uh, you can see here in the menu bar, right? Or else directly also, uh, we will have the same label or T option in the mark shelf also. Okay, I clicked hit here. That's the reason it is showing me the labels. That is the numbers. Okay, now observe this is my sales amount and this is my tax amount. I have two individual lines to create a dual uh, Access. What I need to do, I need to right click here. Any, uh, you know, on the left axis here, we can see tax amount, right? Here, I will just simply right click. I can able to see something called as dual access. Correct? I'm clicking this dual access option. If you observe now what happened, the two lines got placed on each other. The reason why I selected the display option in the sense you can even see my numbers is also placed on each other. I even can't understand what is the exact number because it is just placed on the top of each other, right? Basically, what I did, I, uh, I created a dual line for those two measures. It got created into a single line. Now, what I need to do, here, if you can see, this is my sales amount. Okay, my sales amount values you can see towards the left side, like 0M, 2M, 4M, 6M, like that. And tax amount values you can see towards the right side, right? Like 0K, 100K, 200K. If you can see, the uh, you know, the scales are different here. It is in uh, kilobytes and it is in uh, megabytes bytes like that. We cannot compare this data because it is of different scales, right? I cannot understand. So to uh, you know compare easily, what I can do, I can synchronize it. I have an option called as synchronize access. To do that, I can right click here. Okay. I can right click anywhere, of course. 
either here or here after a light right clicking we already selected dual axis now that's the reason it is uh, you know showing the tick of tick mark here to, on the dual axis now what we need to do we need to click synchronize axis we need to synchronize the both the axis here i will select synchronize axis now what's happening my scales got same here also i am having um uh, you know i got same units the my units got converted here correct here also i am having megabytes only here also i am having megabytes only previously i have kilobytes here if my units are different i cannot compare the data easily correct i now i brought them into the same unit so that i can compare the data very easily this is megabytes only this is megabytes only in 2011 this will be my tax amount and this will be my sales amount tax amount sales amount like that right basically we will use this concept Ma'am, can you please explain again? Yeah, I will do that. I will do that. And ma'am, why did you select some sales amount, some tax amount? Why didn't you select any other fields? See, basically, we need to select any of the measures, right? Any measures is fine. I can even select unit price. here i selected sales amount and tax amount because i am trying to compare this two measures okay so that is the reason i selected sales amount and tax amount even if i want to compare sales amount and unit price i can select sales amount and unit price also the concept is any two measures is okay okay and here what i did let me create it once again i'm opening a new sheet here basically the axis concept is all about working on measures as i discussed so individual axis and blended axis is nothing but individual axis we need to keep all the measures in one axis whether it is rows or columns no problem what i did here i took sales amount and i kept in columns and i took tax amount and i kept in column correct i took any of the dimension we can take any of the dimension but according to our but here as i am my intention is to only explain the concept but according to the requirement we will select the uh, columns basically in real time or going forward also we will do like that only according to our requirement if we want to analyze a between sales amount and tax amount we will choose sales amount and tax amount like that so now i am here what i am doing i am analyzing my sales amount and tax amount with respect to the due date so i took the due date into the rows column okay so here what is happening i don't mix measures and columns i will keep them separately all my measures is in one uh, one side here rows and columns what it is saying in the graph basically it's about axis only if we can understand uh, if we can think this will be x axis right this will be y axis correct horizontal line can be the x axis vertical line will be the y axis Cor correct so obviously how i got my horizontal line i kept some columns on the i mean i kept some uh, measures in the columns part according to the rows and columns only we are getting x axis and y axis correct so here the concept is we will not mix measures and dimensions in individual axis we will keep all the measures separately and we will keep all the dimensions separately then we will get a separate line separate axis for each and every measure that is called as individual axis okay when coming to the blended axis we are blending in the sense combining here we will combine all the measures and dimensions that's the reason what i did i did in the due date i expanded i took year data and i took quarter data i kept 
year and one dimension and one measure in the in one axis and one dimension and uh, and one measure in another axis that means i am combining dimensions and measures in the axis here by doing that i got some uh, i got some graph here okay and next comes with the dual axis this one we will use in real time whenever we want to compare any different units like you know if we have any different if we want to compare any two measures but if suppose the units are different here as you can see previously i have one unit in kilobytes and one unit in megabytes let me recreate it i'm opening once again what i did i took any dimension okay i just kept it in the rows part and i will take sales amount i will take tax amount i will click on show me option and i will change my line type to the continuous to get uh, so that i can able to analyze or view the graph uh, easily okay Ma now automatically it is taking rows right instead of columns yes yes it will take automatically because uh, it will shift to the it will interchange to the rows and columns depending on the graphs we selected okay uh, no no um, no problem whether it is in uh, rows or graphs according to the graphs we selected it will interchange but we need to take care about whether it is rows i mean you know even i can interchange now by clicking this okay but the concept here is we need to take care what we are doing in in blend in individual axis we are keeping them separately we are keeping dimensions and measures separately in blended axis we are mixing them in dual axis also we are keeping separately but we are trying to uh, what we can say uh, we are trying to compare them if i you can see here my this is my sales amount and this is my tax amount if i can able to show you now what i did i just interchanged interchanged my graph so my graph became like this but i cannot really compare easily by keeping the amounts uh, sales amount and tax amount side by side if i interchange once again i can uh, able to see like this one second let me select the uh, continuous graph so here we can able to analyze uh, very easily like that we will choose accordingly according to the graphs we selected the rows and columns will get interchanged no no problem okay how we are uh, you know it's up to our choice again selecting the graphs uh, we need to decide for some graphs or for some uh, con concepts there will be like you know um, we need to understand some for some type of graph for some type of data we need to create particular graphs only and again again it depends on we uh, you know to decide how to select the graphs based on the uh, by seeing the visual by seeing the graph we can understand you know uh, by creating which graph it is more and uh, you know it is looking like very presentable way we can if anal analyze easily we can understand easily that Or graphs we will select according to the selection our rows and columns may interchange okay and here i have sales amount and here i have tax amount and if you can see here it is in megabytes and it is in kilobytes now what i will do i want to compare my sales amount and tax amount but i cannot do that first i will just uh, click on t option let me label them i got my sales amount and tax amount data but i cannot compare here you can see in 2011 this is my sales amount this is my sales amount and this is my tax amount but, but i cannot compare this data because it is in megabytes and it is in kilobytes right in real time whenever we are comparing two measures which is having different units we will create a dual axis to convert them into one single unit okay so i am right clicking here and we we need to select the option called as dual axis immediately what what it's happening the units is uh, units is uh, different only but you can see here the two lines are placed on the top of each other we can even unable to understand the data here so to 
to we need to synchronize the axis here we need to right click and we need to click on synchronize axis then again our units got same now what i did i converted my units one previously i have kilobytes now i have megabytes only for the two axis right even for the sales amount and even for the tax amount now i can compare easily i, I mean i can compare correctly previously i cannot compare because the units are different right this is called as dual axis our intention is to when you know compare the measures whenever we want to compare the measures having different units we will create a dual axis by you know first we need to create a dual axis and then we need to create a synchronized axis so that our units will uh, become same okay now i can compare my data this is 2011 this is my tax amount this is my sales amount and the units are also same so i can compare it perfectly correct like that it is is yeah. it clear <clears throat> well do we have topic wise uh, i mean topic wise thing or like like in sql we have radial day ml then functions then something yes like yes that. yes uh, i shown you the index right let me show you one second so what is today's topic actually tableau access tableau access Yes. One second. Hi, Divya. <clears throat> Hi. What do you mean by that uh, word storytelling, which you said in the class? Story. Story means uh, we have to explain the dashboard to the client like that or anything uh, else? No, no. Uh, actually, dashboard in the sense collection of graphs right if i here i created three separate graphs if i want to display all these graphs all the three graphs in one page i will create a dashboard let me show you just uh, don't uh, just ignore about the current graphs these are just the axis graphs but let me show you how we will create okay this is the dashboard after creating any of the graphs, once we clicked on dashboard, here how I got my dashboard, you can, you can see here I will have the second icon is dashboard or else from the file, one second. I have dashboard here. From, from dashboard, I can click on new dashboard. Then, then also I can able to get this dashboard. Here, what all uh, you know sheets I have created so far. I created in this workbook, in this Tableau book two, I created the four sheets. I opened four sheets and I created something in it. Okay, that's the reason it is showing the all the collection of four sheets here. What I need to do, I need to select the scraps. Directly double click also. All the four graphs I got in one page, right? This is called as dashboard. We have few objects here. We have tiled and floating. We have some concept inside the dashboard. We will see how we will create uh, a dashboards technically in our Tableau dashboards concept. This is called as dashboards in real time. We will work on dashboards only. Okay. And there is something called as story. If I click on this new story icon, again, for the same, we can see in stories, we can see the list of uh, sheets as well as dashboards. If we want to create a story between, I mean, uh, about our data to so that our client will understand that what is we what we want to, I mean, what insights we got from the analysis, what we analyzed, and after making all the analyzations, basically we need to, uh, you know, explain that to our clients. Right at that time, we will create these stories here it will show all the in this workbook in this workbook whatever sheets and dashboards are created all the list i can see here i can simply double click here i will double click here i will select everything double clicking here you can see everything is creating one by one like you know something like a book inside a book we will have a lot of pages right in the same way you can the story will be nothing but for all the graphs, whatever we created with just a double clicks, we can create.